Is it working though? Yeah. Good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, Mark, what are we doing? Q&A? Q&A. Q&A. Q&A today guys, so I put a story on my uh, Instagram the other day for you guys to ask me some questions and I said it doesn't have to be fitness, fitness related at all. I know my page is predominantly fitness but um, you know, let's put some life questions in there. Uh, let's rock the boat. There were some weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> As I suspected there will be some weird ones. A selection of the questions, pick out a few and answer them the best I can for you guys. Two seconds. <sighs> You walk like this on the floor if you've got wet feet because wow we've had some injuries <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's crazy because today is new year's new year's eve guys so we're supposed to be going out tonight uh, just to uh, to a club and have a nice time with the guys but supposedly there is terrorist attack or a suspected terrorist attack some terrorists have, al have already been killed or uh, have been shot and killed here uh, already uh, there was a Bali bombing I think back in 2001 or 2002 and well this is what the media are telling me you know and obviously you don't believe everything the media tells you okay I think everything might be getting shut down just for a few days can't actually fly into Bali right now for two weeks until the 14th of January so things are getting pretty weird here too and I know Europe is completely locked down I think I know I know England is completely locked down it's tier four tier four tier one tier two, whatever tier you want you want England has it so but yeah let's see how tonight plays out we might just be me and Marky P having a glass of wine Happy New Year. <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna answer these questions for you right now wow that's hot just burnt my mouth nice okay let's start with the most important questions do you miss me? No. Could you bring me a souvenir? No. Are we the kings of Bali? Yes. How many birds you shagged? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, yeah, this is probably a, this is a very honest Q&A, right? This yeah. is an honest Q&A, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the answer to that question is I have no clue. If you can count them, you're not doing very well. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Couldn't help that one, could not. Uh, love your current physique. What made you decide to be cut year round? I think I've been cut year round ever since I've been in this game. Ever since, well, ever since I started the gym. I've been very lean all the time. Very much down to my genetics, guys. Very good genetics. Um, I mean, it was bigger. I was a lot bigger. But I like to be this size now. I feel more athletic, more lean, more powerful, speed, agility. A lot of people ask me, oh, where's your muscles gone? And why have you done this? I'm just like, I don't want to be big. I don't want to be huge. I'm not very mobile when I'm huge, okay? Just not very mobile at all. And me at this weight now is 177 pounds, but I'm I'm below 9% body fat right now. Way below 9. I'm sure I'm below 9% body fat. Uh, I was 9.1 in Barcelona, and I think I'm leaner now than I was in Barcelona, possibly. But we will do a, a body fat test. This is a good question. Does being a content creator always lead to living in the moment less? Certainly, yes it does. Like, say if we're all having a good time, sometimes I'm, my mind is shifted to, oh, I need to catch this moment, catch that moment, catch this. And to be honest, I think it does kind of spoil the excitement, the fun, the moment. Would I change my job? No. I mean, I think for me, I pro probably get one of the best jobs in the world. Look where I'm at, you know, I'm in, I'm in Bali right now, just working online, doing my thing going place with Mark, seeing the nature. But to answer your question, yes, it does. Like, you, you know, you certainly don't live in the moment as much as you should because your mind is always elsewhere. Okay. Sorry guys, I screenshot all these, let me see what I said. Um, are you happy in Bali? More than happy in Bali. Bali is a great island. I am probably going to live here build a house, maybe invest in some property, maybe. Um, who knows, we'll see what the future brings, but right now I'm just concentrating on creating content for you guys, getting it out there, showing you how I live. The thoughts of having a follower come out and spend a week with you. Depends if they're cool or not. To be honest, like I wouldn't mind it. We're looking to do fitness retreats out here anyway. A lot of you guys will be 
uh, getting the chance to hopefully get on these, um, become part of these these fitness retreats with us, and um, you know, we'll put you in a nice place. We'll put you in a nice villa. So it'll be like spending a week with me. But this could be a competition in the works. Maybe I could do this. Bring you out to Bali and spend a week with me. Please, please, please don't be annoying though. Um, are you gay? Uh, I am straight and straight. See how straight that pole is there. Show them how straight that pole is, man. There's not one bend in that pole, right? Not one bend. That's how straight I am. That's how. That's how straight. <laughs> <laughs> how did you meet Mark? How did I meet Marky P? Marky P. How did I meet you? I met you in that strip club, right? That strip club in Barca. That's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I met. Um, it was through a friend, right? Didn't, didn't Jados text you saying, "Does oh, we need a videographer?" Yeah, and yeah. And, and I needed one in Barcelona, and I was looking for, you know a good, an excellent video guy. And M Marky P is amazing. Marky P is one of the best video guys I've worked with. A lot of guys we've worked with in the past can be very lazy, um, but uh, Marky P loves the graft. He loves the work. Cheers, brother. How many dirty questions have you received so far? About 52, but obviously we can't read them all. Why don't I ever see you with your twin? I'm at one side of the earth, he's at the other. Pretty much. I'm in Asia. He's in Europe. Well, Great Britain's not part of Europe anymore. So he's in Britain and I'm in Bali. So yeah, we. That's why we don't see each other. Me, I want to go off and do my own thing. And, and well, not do my own thing. You know, we still we still run businesses together. But I wanted to. Uh, I can't see the world from inside my BMW in in Manchester. Manchester is not my thing anymore. You know, and my mind is completely shifted away from kind of that lifestyle now and I'm more focused on memories and uh, and obviously I'm still focused on business and money and, uh, and and those things but I don't know I'm more at peace here do you know I'm more at peace here more myself here hopefully you can tell that in the videos <laughs> plan on visiting Oz after cor coronavirus um, yes definitely um, if I can get in I don't plan on getting the vaccine whatsoever do you have a girlfriend no I do not strongly believe that may be a really really bad contract um, <laughs> no I don't know you know if I meet the if I meet the right girl then hey who knows but at the moment fully single what is your main source of income are you guys secretly escorts like female Instagramists <laughs> uh, main source of income comes from um, a few places we obviously we have uh, boohoo man and my protein uh, we also have the online fitness app. Um, we are looking at different avenues now as well to do fitness retreats. A lot of fitness retreats here in Bali where some of you guys can come out and meet us and it'll be a really um, solid package for you guys. We'll make it really, really worth your while. You can come train with us and that's in the works right now. I don't want to say too much about it, but also possibly looking at maybe um, property in the UK or property out here. Who knows yet? Um, possibly property in the UK first. As I don't quite know the market here yet, and I'm busy creating. No question, just please cut your hair. Thank you for the question. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut my hair. People ask, people, some people tell me this, most people say they love the hair, but some people are actually saying cut the hair, but I don't want short hair, guys. How often do you consume alcohol? Every day. <laughs> no, uh, once a month, twice a month, something like that. Once or twice a month. I like to have a social side of life as well, guys. You know, not everything should just be work, 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 work. Um, I believe also that you know you should go out and have a good time with your friends. I'm not saying you need alcohol to enjoy yourself, but I don't know how to put it. Yeah, we just we go out, we have a party sometimes, which is like every other person I live like I don't live like everybody because you know a lot of people do go out every single weekend some people do Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday you know but that that's not me you know if I did that my body physique job would just go to shit visit Madrid no I am not going to visit Madrid no, because Madrid and Barcelona, I've just lived in Barcelona for a year and Spain is on complete lockdown. Is Spain on lockdown? No, man. Yeah, Spain is on yeah. complete lockdown, guys. Not completely, but... I have no idea. Like, I would hate to be in Barcelona right now. I would hate it. Me too. How old are you? I am 30 years old. I know. I look 22. 
but it's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> now I'm 30. I believe when you get to 30, uh, your mindset completely changes. Everything you thought you wanted, you didn't want, and those things become less important. And I'm talking about materialistic things become less important, I think, when you get to around 30. More so, memories and traveling for me has become more of, a, more of the goals now. Um, bum, 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 bum. What inspires you to stay fit? That's pretty simple. I just do not want to be fat. Also, to reach more depth on that is like, I don't want to be unhealthy, ever. I would never want to be unhealthy. I, the gym for me is a, it's like my drug. It's my choice of drug. It's like I cannot, if I miss one day, I feel terrible. <laughs> advice, this is quite a good one. Advice for a 23 year old. Advice for a 23 year old right now. So if I could go back to my 23 year old self, I would be, I would completely change my mindset. I wish I had the mindset I had now to when I was 23. Focus on work, business, building incomes, and by the time you get to 30, 35, you'll be set for life. And that would be my advice to the younger generation is stop going out, doing stupid shit, and have a level head and start focusing on business and money and building different streams of income. Good point for me. Yes. <laughs> Do two more. Are you getting any more tattoos? Um, I, am, I am supposed to see a tattoo artist tonight about my whole foot and the bottom of my leg here, but I'm thinking about just curling it over the knee here, not touching the definition here. Uh, I've got an idea in my head that I want. But not explain at all, because probably it's gonna be a YouTube video. Oh shit, yeah, actually I'm just gonna get black. I'm just gonna color in my in Lego black. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for some personal questions. How's your dating life? Absolutely amazing. How do you, how do you even answer that? I'm like, yeah, I have a good dating life. I don't, I don't want to really reach into too much detail on that, but... Um, give me some... I want some funny ones. I want some funny ones. Will you return to the UK? Hopefully not. Praying? Not. No. Not looking to return to the UK anytime soon. Can you dance anything? I can dance, yeah. I've got a few dancing videos on, on my Instagram. Go check them out. A uh, little bachata. A uh, little meringue as well. You know, I can dance. Or if you want some techno viking, you know, I can do that too, you know. You should do OnlyFans. Uh, no. Never. Never. Unless I hit complete rock bottom. Complete rock bottom. <laughs> but no, not looking to do that. What are you attracted to in a woman? Me, me, women, uh, when it comes to a woman, goals not a party girl but she does like to go out and have fun loves to make money loves business preferably brunette spanish <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I like i like i do like i like spanish girls spanish girls for me are at the top you know they're very classy very elegant marky p will agree with that one <laughs> brunettes or blondes just answered that question brunettes Definitely brunettes. I've never had a blonde girlfriend. Never had many girlfriends. I think I've had one girlfriend. <laughs> one girlfriend. Do you still own company with your brother? Yes. Yes, I do. Who's dusted more lasses? You or Mike Thurston? <laughs> yeah. So let me explain this question if you're American. So when he's saying who's dusted more lasses? You or Mike Thurston? He's saying who has had sex with more girls? You or Mike Thurston? I have no clue on that. Russian or Spanish women? Spanish women. Yeah. Yeah. Spanish women every single time. I do like Russian. I do like Russian women, but like I, I love Spanish, Spanish, Spanish ladies. How is it going with Tatiana? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Now we, you know, uh, we was on the shoot the other week. Uh, we talk now again. We we see each other out. Nice girl. Um, yeah, it's going good. Let's do one more. This is a real good one. Okay, this is a good one. Have you ever felt social pressures, kids, wife, house, etc.? To be honest, probably every week that I do can fi find a social pressure like that. Oh, maybe you see other people on social media settling down, having children, getting a house. My advice to people on that would be, sometimes I do look at that and think, oh wow, like should I be going down that route instead of this route what I'm going down now? But, but then I think people would love to be in my shoes people would love to be in my shoes right now so for me I don't let that those pressures get to me too much because I believe that is like what the older generation say for example your parents did but 
now in the world of technology now there is so much more opportunity so much more opportunity to travel to meet more people to experience different cultures so for me uh, yeah I do kind of at my age now 30 maybe I do find small pressures like that but seriously I just swipe them to the side okay because my life right now so to the answer to that question will be yes and no yes and no but more um, I don't let it get to me to the point where I'm like oh wow this is a real burden on my shoulders right now you know I don't really let, I don't let that get to me like in that sense you know so. but yeah thanks for your questions guys we'll do another one real soon make them uh, even better next time make them more personal <laughs> but uh, but yeah we are going to we're gonna go to Kyle's now and then see where the night takes us because it's New Year's Eve and there's terrorists about. Wow. Let's go.